okay so what's up guys in this video i'm gonna show you guys how we do the bubble hash and these are the bags these are screen bags and the 25 micron 73 120 and 160 so they will go on this order and they will what you what will happen is everything is filtered down from screen to screen so this this one will be fine and then as you can see if you were to go through uh, the screen this one is finer so as it goes down it's uh pretty much the bottom screen the 25 is pure melt and as it goes up it just um how could i say it uh the last bag is pure melt but the rest of it is okay but it's not gonna be as best as your 25 screen bag or should i say your 45 in this case i'm gonna do 25 and then I'm gonna go 45 microns. I have the other bag here to a 73, and you can see it's it should be uh, the 120, but I'm gonna add the 90 micron. So it's gonna go from 73 to 90 to 120 to 160. And then the reason why I'm doing this, putting these extra two screens is to get higher better quality bubble hash to press uh, we want the best of the best so we're gonna do it this way and it's more work but i'll show you so it's gonna take one two three four five six bags and we're gonna load it in the bucket uh the 25 first then the you'll go from lowest to highest your lowest will go first so it'll be your 25 then your 45 then your 73 then your 90 then your 120 and 160 see it, it starts from the lowest to highest so you put the the low the 25 micron first so that's your last bag that's the bag you wanted to keep uh, what's what this bag produces that's what you want to keep that one and also the 45 and maybe the 73 you can keep those maybe even the 90 so we'll see what what we can keep and what we come out with and I'm doing this in the in the tub because it's a lot easier for me to reach the water I don't want to make a big old mess uh, you do have to keep dumping water and adding water so this is why I'm doing it in this area and this is the washer this, this will be washing all our material out once we have it on I will show you how how it uh, how it works so I got the 25 first in there and then I got the 45 that one's the 45 and then I got the 73 and this one's a 73 and then there's a 220 I'm sorry 120 under this this one and then the 160 so there's six bags in all this so I'll, I'll place it in here because that's where the washed product is going to go as you can see I got the whole set fill it up and this is the working bag the 220 this is the, the bag that your material will go in and you tie it up and it's gonna go in there with with uh, the material with the ice and it's gonna wash so I'm gonna get the ice I'm gonna get the material we'll get back all right guys hope you can hear me 
if you can see, I filled up the 220 screen bag with the material. You can see all the buds. It's all the buds that that I froze. And all this stuff was frozen. So always the best results is frozen. I put a little bit of ice in the bag. So there's ice on the bottom. So now I'm gonna tie this bag up and throw it in the, the washer. You can see I'm filling it up with cold water. And she's almost there. She's about right there. You just want about maybe halfway, maybe a little more. As long as the, wa the bag is submerged in ice and getting washed. So I'm gonna tie it up and I'll be back. All right, I got it all tied up. Put it in there with the ice. Now we're gonna turn her on. And now we're gonna let her wash. This one does 15 minute increments. So let's see.
so she's done washing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain it this is already the the fourth wash I've been giving it 15 min uh, turning it to 15 minutes because it only goes up to there three times so that's 45 minute wash and I did that four times so now this is my last uh, I didn't record all that dumping and dumping and going back and forth because you do have to eat between each wash dump out and um, dump into your bags and add new water and ice if you do that four times I did that four times and I didn't want to show you all that so I'm just showing you the good stuff now this is the fourth wash I'm gonna drain it and I'm gonna rinse out everything in the washer now with the uh, with the sprayer and I'm gonna rinse it all out into the, the screen bags so you'll see right here and it goes out now what I'll do is I'll add the water and start my rinse start rinsing everything out of here and easy you can see the bag of weeds uh, bag of material pick it up turn it over and what I'm gonna do is let her fill up a little bit and just so it washes off everything in there Put this back. And I'm gonna let her fill up. And this is my last rinse. I'm just rinsing her. But I'm still trying to get everything off of the bag and what's all left around. So I'll fill it up again as if I'm gonna do a wash, but with no ice pure cold water when you, when you do this part you gotta make sure you got enough room when you dump your water rinsing make sure you got enough room for your water to fit in there if not you'll have to clean out all the screens all over again and then put them all back in a clean bucket. So I'll turn it on and see how it looks. I uh, agitated it a little bit more and then I took it out there's the bag of material that was in there so I kind of squeegeed it out in there now what I'll do is I'll drain it all in here and get it all rinsed out and I'll be pretty much done and then I will uh, I might wash that again. It's getting a little bit late. I don't want to be making noise with this. But I might wash it again. Because she still felt sticky. Whoa. Okay. Barely feels her up. I 
and I still need more room than that. Okay, I'm gonna get those screens out. Okay, so this is what I got after I cleaned out all the screens. They're all cleaned out and rinsed off finally. This was the, the 25 micron bag. That's what I got. This one was the 45 micron bag. You can see got a little bit more with that turd. But you'll see after it dries off. We'll, I'll show you again how it looks. This was the 73. You can see that. Oh. And this was the 90. Got quite a bit out of that screen and I collected the 120 just for kicks just to see how how it dries up check we get the my light my battery is too low for the light dang it but that's what it is 25 45 73 Excuse me, Ooh. Uh, 90, 120. So, we're all done. Again, I use the washer. And now, I'll put them on the cardboard like this. So that they can, uh, the cardboard will start absorbing all that water. But, that's it. So what's up guys, I wanted to come in here and show you, it's been two days since I did my bubble hash. Now you can see I still have it on the screens, I had it on the cardboard, and I had them in the freezer. So you can see I kind of broke it up a little bit because uh, I was trying to see how I could get it back to kind of powdery, and it won't work like that. Really. Um, you need like some kind of file to file it really fine but anyways this is what uh what it came out looking like kind of looks like pieces of chocolate some of it and this one here started melting fast in my fingers when I was breaking it up this one too and the 90 started melting fast when I was breaking it up so I, that's why it's like that, like chunky, because I, I couldn't mess with it much before it started to uh, to break up. And, and then this one looks like sand. And this one's the 120. I am going to smash this one too. So, or press. So, uh, I'm going to press one of these. I don't know which one yet. Um, the way it is, chunky like that. And I'll probably do this one and then this one to see or maybe even the 25 Just to see uh, What it comes out What it comes out like and if I have to grind it up more fine than this uh, I was told that it's better to do it when it's powdery so to kind of uh, finding out more with a filer or something and I want to see for myself if I could do it like this or if I do have to uh, get it more powdery so that's why I'm doing it and yeah let's see what happens and I'll do a way way it when I smash it I'll weigh it and then I'll smash uh, smash it and then I'll wait what I get out of it so right now it's light because it's dry and it's not dry it's all uh, frozen so it's not accurate and I don't want to thaw them out I want to put them back in the freezer ASAP so that it could uh they could stay frozen but yeah just want to show you guys that all right see you at the press. Thank you.